All right, today we are replacing the spark plugs on a 2013 Honda CRV uh, with a 2.4 liter. So 2.4 liter, very easy job. Let me get you set up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But you're gonna come to the top of your engine, you open your hood, put your prop rod up, and you have four 10 mil bolts on this plastic cover. The job can be done. These are just going to be not with a whole lot of torque. These are just to maintain that plastic cover. And then there's a wiring harness that they hold down on the back side. Like I said, down. Pull that up. And that exposes your ignition coil packs. So we're going to want to remove all these ignition coil packs. So... Take off your connectors. There's a little push down tab right here. You just want to push down, pull back. It's going to be a little stubborn. Um, if you pull forward, then push down the tab, you can probably remove them a little easier. There's four 10 mil bolts. I'm going to remove these. Now the ignition coils will just pull straight up. So it should pop up. You want to inspect your coil boot, make sure it's not cracked, or the ignition coil itself is in good condition. If there is any damage, you can get new coil boot ends and new seals. If there's any oil on here, you might have a valve cover gasket that's leaking. We check all those out. I like to put them, take them out and put them in the position I took them out in. This one's got a new Ignition coil in, so they come out a little harder. But that exposes your spark plugs. And you're gonna be careful if you use power tools. Um, they suggest not, but we're just gonna loosen them. And pull your spark plug out. You'll need a spark plug socket extension, but. We have Denso Iridiums in. These have pretty much reached their lifespan. It has over 100,000 miles. Um, what I have found is that through my research, Honda has Denso and NGK iridiums as factory plug. Um, so what we're going to do, um, iridium should be a pre-gapped plug. You're not supposed to gap iridiums because the tip is so fine that it could break. And that's the issue with them. So they usually come with a protector. And they're usually the gap um, by Honda is 39 to 42 thousandths of an inch but we're gonna put this in we're gonna want to put these in and I know we took them out with power tools we're gonna start these all by hand we want to smash the tips be very gentle torque spec on these is 13 foot-pounds so when we go to tighten them up we're gonna run them down with the electric ratchet <clears throat> not to the point where they're torquing we're just Gonna finish all those threads once they're all started by hand. Run these down. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tor torque them down 13 foot pounds, as I had said earlier. Okay. <clears throat> so now, with all those plugs 
secured down. We're gonna reinstall the ignition coils. Line up the coils with your 10 mil slots. Now, um, we can re, what I like to do is reinstall the connectors while you have a little bit of gap. Use your 10 mil, turn these back down. Torque spec is 89 inch pounds. So you don't need to go crazy on these things. Give them just a quick down with the ratchet. One little snug. All right, and now that, if all your connectors are plugged in, um, what you're gonna do is to make sure there's no issues or cracked plugs or anything if you installed them wrong. I don't put that plastic piece back on. I just like to start it. Alrighty, and just that easy. This video's been going for 12 minutes. We went from off to running in 12 minutes. So, spark plugs, 2.4, Honda CRV. Honda Accord, pretty easy. Hope you guys like the video. Please like and subscribe for a lot more like this one. And get your keep your Honda and other vehicles running great.